Hey everyone, I'm Chief Meteorologist Chris Ramirez with the KCN Storm Team. Just wanted to give you a quick weather web update of what we're expecting tonight here in the Concho Valley. We are expecting that severe thunderstorm threat to start increasing for the next couple of hours. I'm currently recording this at 4.30, just after the 4.30 p.m. time. So if you're watching this after the fact, just know that uh, this is after 4, this is around 4.30 p.m. Looking at those rain chances, we are expecting these rain chances to start increasing as we get closer towards the 5.30 p.m. hour, 6 o'clock, and then still continuing to increase as we get closer towards 7 8 o'clock and then the bulk of these storms will be falling around maybe 7 between 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock p.m. tonight. The good news here those storms will start decreasing as we get closer towards the midnight hour so we're not expecting this overnight prolonged event storm threat will start diminishing after the midnight hour with uh, skies remaining cloudy for tonight, but also uh, not really expecting an overnight event. Looking at those threats, these weather threats of what we're expecting with any storm that does flare up here in the Concho Valley, we have a large hail threat up to golf ball size hail, and we could see wind gusts up to 80 miles an hour with any storm that does flare up in and around our area. The tornado threat as of now is fairly low, but of course not out of the question. Frequent lightning is expected, so remember if you hear rumbling outdoors, of course, of course, it's time to head indoors as we go into the next uh, several hours. Flooding, ponding on roadways are expected because we are expecting some widespread heavy rain at times in and around the area. The Storm Prediction Center has much of the Contra Valley under that enhanced risk for severe weather that does include St. Angelo and our eastern area. So it looks to me that we are seeing or uh, expecting a more of a significant weather threat from uh, east of St. Angelo, stretching from Ballinger and Menard Junction. When we look at the current radar right now, and like I said, it's just after the 4.30 p.m. hour, so we this is what we're looking at. We're already seeing some very strong storms starting to flare up just to the west of the Concha Valley, just northwest of the Concha Valley. So we have a complex weather system that's currently ongoing here. We have this uh, low-pressure system that's currently moving through the area. This is bringing in sort of a front into north Texas, and then now we have this dry line that's currently uh, stretching from uh, the Panhandle all the way down to just west of the Concha Valley. These are expected to converge into one, so we're expecting a very significant weather threat for portions of like Wichita Falls and some more of a tornadic type threat with these uh, with these two type weather systems that are currently converging into one. Uh, but looking for us here, we are under that severe thunderstorm watch until probably about 10 p.m. tonight. So just know that uh, that threat will be lasting at least until 10 p.m. That could be extended depending on the timing of these storms. But as we look at that future cast, that's what everybody's wondering. What's the timing with these storms? We can expect these storms starting to move into our area around 5.30 p.m., 6 o'clock and then continuing to move off towards the east as we get closer towards 6.30, 7 o'clock. We could expect to see strong storms going into 7.30, 8 o'clock, and then we're expecting to still continuing to see uh, these uh, very heavy rain at times as we get closer towards 9 o'clock. And then as we get closer towards 10.30, 11, that's where we're going to start seeing that significant weather threat starting to decrease for us here. So we can expect these storms to start dying off as we get closer towards midnight or after the midnight hour. But of course, until then... We have that significant weather threat for us here in San Angelo and the entire Concho Valley going into the next several hours. You can always follow us on uh, social media. You can follow myself at Chris Ramirez KSAN, at on Twitter at Chris Ramirez WX. Weekend meteorologist Aaron Ayers is here with me helping me track the storm. So we'll both be here tracking these storms and keeping you ahead of the storm as we head into the next several hours. Have a good rest of your afternoon.